the history of the parish. Um, someone who had knows the history of the parish and who can give us a special insight, a special insight into all the things that have happened here. Pauline. And I ask you to please continue to be quiet until we finish up here. Shh. Shh. Give everybody a shh. Okay. Thank you. I want to welcome you here today as one of the old timers. They chose me to give a little bit of the history of our Argyle community and the parish. And uh, because I've been here a long time. I was here when the Rock Island Railroad trains were traveling through our farm about four or five times a day. And as kids, we would run and wave at the engineer, and sometimes he would greet us with a whistle. And our church has always been a great part of our community. I remember when people would come to Mass uh, in horse and buggies and wagons, and the horses would be tied up to hitching posts in the town while they attended Mass. Now I call that dedication. <laughs> and also one of my early uh, memories was uh, when I was four years old, uh, I was at the station with a very large crowd who had gathered at the railroad station to be bid farewell to a beloved priest. He was Father J. M. Clooney, who had passed away, and he was one of the first priests to serve pastor of our parish. There were many tears, and his body was brought onto the train and went to St. Louis to be buried. I remember the people speaking fondly about Father Clooney for many years later. And our town and church were established around the railroad. They brought supplies and products for the first stores, which I remember, or they, could, they say, was run by a man named George Body, and later for the Shell store and the Steinman store and the other businesses that got started along the way. And the railroad was also a way for farmers to get some of their livestock to stockyards and slaughterhouses in St. Louis. And also another thing that I remember was a man named John Sambody who would go to the depot with a wheelbarrow every day and collect the mail pouch and bring it to the post office. I, I just remember that as I can see the man going in his wheelbarrow. Yeah. And when, way, way back, when we didn't have refrigerators, I remember going to my, my uh, grandmother's well house to pull up the, the butter and the milk on a rope. Well, so it was real important when the icebox came, and that, we thought that was really an, an invention. And you know, the ice came from like Will Haver's store that had the great big ice house behind the store. And they would come and hunk out a piece of ice and put it in these little cabinets that they called ice boxes. And then another important thing in my life and some of my neighbors was when we went to St. Louis to go to work. We were young and green from the country and sent to this big city. It was really scary. But we had an older lady who was also from Argyle who had gone there before us and showed us the way around the big city. This nice lady was Tess Body. Now I know some of her family is probably here today. So, and I went to school in Argyle. Walked two and a half miles every day to get there. Along the way, we picked up the neighbor's kids, and by the time we arrived at school, there would be over a dozen in the group. 
Now, many of our early settlers migrated from Germany. Therefore, we spoke the German language. When I went to school, I spoke only German. It was a Plattdeutsch type of German, or Low German, as we sometimes called it. And the translation to the English language affected us for many years, and I think it still does to some extent. It would be half German and half English. And we had a tendency to say, the hill up, the fence long, and the car around. Some of you may recognize that. <laughs> Our great grandparents were hardworking people and great craftsmen. We can see where this trait was passed on to their children who put together this great centennial celebration. Yes. We are also proud to have them and staying around and raising their families here. Now, in my best plot Deutsch, <laughs> I want to say, Lauben Sie gehen in Freulichkeit mit der Freundes and Verwandtschaft. Heute da. And which means, run along in merry men, be with your friends and relations today. Danke schön. Sie hat gut geredet, na? Wende schön, wende schön. Sie spricht gut Deutsch. Um,